Hey guys, Prepper Nurse One here. Um, wanted to uh, tell you what's been going on here. I wanted to show you this um, this catalog thing here that uh, for the buildings. This is what they have. Uh, it's free delivery and setup. It's quality storage sheds, uh, heritage structures, designs with distinction. Um, they're out of Pennsylvania, and it's an Amish setup. So. Um, and it's free delivery within 100 miles, so that's not a bad thing. So since we're within 100 miles of where they're located, um, we're going to have free delivery. Um, the more I've th thought about it, you know, it's like in everybody's suggestions as well. Um, I'm definitely leaning towards this two-story, depending on what the cost is going to be. Um, so we're going to have to see what exactly that, that is going to entail. And um, so we're going to go from there as far as that goes. But... Uh, so I'll show you here too, so you can see it better today. Flags are all blowing in the breeze. So we have the Dutch flag, we have the Canadian flag, and we have the Swiss flag. And then of course, there's Old Glory flying over here. Um, so there's been other people contacting me. Um, somebody wants to send me the Finnish flag, which I think is cool. Um, somebody over in Great Britain that is originally from South Africa, she is sending me the British flag and the South African flag, so I think that's pretty cool as well. Um, I wanted to show you what we were doing today. Um, one of the things we, not overdoing it, just so you know, just, I was like, this is terrible over here and I gotta get this squared away. So, over here last year, we had planted the grapes and the weeds had really taken over. So we cleared out on both sides of this. Now you can tell who did what side, right? Heather worked on the back side and Dad worked on the front side, but that's okay. We got it done together. And uh, so now they have more room and are not all choked off. And uh, this actually, this grape plant over here is really, is really spread out nice. But um, so there's the grape plant. Um, I haven't been over to look at the blueberry bushes, so, but, um, and they're over there, so, I don't know how they're doing. I just, you know, like I said, after the surgery, my motivational level has not really been there, but, um, I'm starting to feel better, and I need to start getting things more squared away around here, and not have it look like such a mess. Um, so today is the 30th of August. Um, it's Sunday, or is it, the, yeah, today's the 30th, Sunday, and um, tomorrow will be the 31st, so tomorrow's the last day of August. Um, I go back to the doctors in a couple of weeks, so looking forward to that, and uh, getting you all clear to go back to work. So hopefully that'll all happen soon. And here comes Lucy out of the woods, and uh, we have one small thing that's not a good thing, Maxie went out three nights ago and we haven't seen him since now he got out he, he had been put out before and um he was in the building and uh he's a very skittish cat very scared of his own shadow so but uh, we haven't seen him in like three days so i'm hoping that he's okay and it'll be back soxy who is over here when we lived in greece new york not Greece, the country guys, Greece, New York. Um, she had gotten out and was gone for two weeks. And I was like, we're never seeing that cat again. And then two weeks later, there she was, and she had lost four pounds in two weeks because she wasn't eating the way she was used to eating. And uh, she never tried to get out again um, until we got up here and then we let her out here. But she stays close, believe me. She's not going far. Um, you know, and Buddy, of course, loves being outside. But uh, now Bella will never go out, which is fine. But um, and then we have Nancy, who's in and out all the time. Well, she's in and out of the building all the time. So, but uh, we've been getting a lot of uh, dead mice um, laying around. And I think it's because of this young lady. I think uh, Lucy's uh, showing us she's doing her job. Um, could be Buddy, too. Buddy's a little more violent with the... Uh, with the critters so but that's okay that's what their job is keep keep the uh, pest down 
Um, other than that, like I said, we're just uh, a little overcast. I'll show you this up here. The sun's back behind the clouds there, but uh, overcast day. Um, they're talking this week we're going to be back up into the high 80s, low 90s, so that'll be interesting. So yeah, well, I'm going to take my daughter today and get her um, some more shopping done for school, get her ready for that, because that's right around the corner as well. They start on the 8th, actually. I thought it was the 9th, but it's the 8th. So that is nine days away. So we got to get the rest of her stuff scored away, and uh, she'll be ready for school. So um, got to get some school supplies and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, we're just kind of doing what we got to do. Um, as soon as I know exactly what's going on with the building, um, I will let you guys know. The uh, two-story is definitely the way I'm thinking of going. Um, I think that would be definitely the better move. So um, we're going to see what the cost of that one is, and we'll go from there. All right? So I will talk to you guys later. Um, everybody have a great Sunday, and I will see you later. Prep runners one out for now.